for the sign of Aquarius. Hello and welcome to my channel. Just remember that the bottom cards are paired with the top cards. I'll be going through the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So, Aquari Aquarius. Aquarius, in the recent past, we have the Six of Pentacles. Now, with this card, if you're in a relationship, it points to a happy period. It could have been very generous, fair, and balanced for at least some time. Now, you made sure, or you should have, allowed your lover to give to you, whether it's in the material or spiritual way. At the same time, you made sure you were doing your fair share of giving to the relationship. So it was a great give and take type of relationship. If you were single and you were looking, now when this card shows up in a, re in a reading, if you're single and looking for love or romance, you were more than likely, or you could have met someone new who was positive, kind, and generous. Now, this may have came about by way of introduction from your friends, family, or someone that you knew. Now, you made sure to let people know that you were looking for a partner or relationship. Or that's what you should have done. Now, we have this card paired with the High Priestess. Now, with this card, it's a magical or it was a magical, mystical time for love if you were interested in it at that time. And if you are a female, you could have found that people were actually throwing themselves at you. So you had many options. Now the problem with that would have been that you attracted both good and bad and it's not always easy or it wasn't easy for you to tell which was which so you have the power of femininity if you're a female or it could be vice versa if you're a male it was at your disposal at that time so everything at first or at first glance, or all these opportunities, it may have seemed like a great thing at first. So it just depends on how you handle it. Hands of the situations, or all the options, would have determined how it came out. And that's the past. Now we move on to the present. We have the King of Cups. So when this card shows up in a reading, Just know that there are a few cards that are more loving than the King of Cups. But if you are looking for love, this can indicate that you'll meet someone or someone in your life or your lover is very balanced and loving or someone is headed your way very soon that is like that. Now, with this card in the tarot, um, it's indication that their physical characteristics, it indicates people with hair coloring on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it doesn't have to be. Um, just know that this card, it embodies love, very well. So it's just basically a good news card for love and romance. Things should be going well or it's a great time to meet someone new and the card is saying that he'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum. But it does not have to be that way. 
It's paired with a three of pentacles. Now, in particularly, if you, if you already know someone that you're interested in, this will tell you that they see you in a positive light with the three of pentacles. They see you as someone who has the qualities that they've always been looking for. Although the love in the relationship hasn't quite yet reached its peak or developed as of yet. So you're just going, you're just going to um, need to be patient. And if you're single and you're looking for romance or love, this card, it definitely indicates that you are very likely to meet someone soon. It could be through your work, through family or friends, but you need to make sure you keep your eyes open so that you'll see him when, when he comes. Okay, and then that's the present. Now with these two cards paired together, the King of Cups, it's letting you know that it's a very good time for love and romance. The one you're in could, could uh, become um, more healthy. Um, or you can just um, count on it that you it's a good time to meet someone new. And then it's paired with the Three of Pentacles. Uh, if you're in a relationship already, they uh, really think very highly of you. And... Um, you just need to be patient uh, for, it, for it to develop into something uh, more serious. Okay? And that's going to be the present. Now we move on to the sun card, which is in the challenge. Now the sun card, if you're in a relationship already when both you and your lover uh, you may be in a time where you feel like you need space okay and this is not the time to be clingy whiny or needy and if you're looking for love it definitely could be on the horizon and that's what this card is showing and it's paired with the seven of cups now the Seven of Cups, you may have several romantic choices at hand or about to be presented. It's about to be presented to you, okay? Or you already have all of those options at hand. But you need to be clear and specific about what you want in a relationship. You're gonna have to evaluate all those choices. Now be honest and as clear as you can with all the people involved, including yourself, then move ahead. Now, be aware of falling in love too fast or trying to rush a situation because we know that that only happens at the beginning of a relationship, okay? Now, we also know that relationships, um, well, in no relationship does that rush if you're rushing things or if it happens too fast, it doesn't last forever, okay? The best relationships, even soulmate relationships, they'll settle into a less rushed, and they'll become more of a comfort zone at some point, okay? So that does not mean that you have to stay in a rut, okay? So just don't rush into things. And with these two cards paired together, the Sun card is letting you know uh, if you're in a committed relationship, when both you and your lover, both of you may be in a time when you feel like you need space and it's not a good time to be clingy or needy. So, and if you're looking for love, it's definitely on the horizon for you. And it's paired with the Seven of Cups. Um, because if you're looking for love, this will be a time when you'll have several options. Or um, if you're single, 
or if you're in a relationship, maybe you have too many options. Okay, and um, and once again, if you're single, um, you just need to um, not try to be in such a rush for the relationships to move forward because um, the best ones, they, um, they kind of take it slow. Slow and steady wins the race. A lot of people know that and believe in that. And um, because our relationships, they end up at a comfort zone at some point. So just stay away from rushing into things. And um, But overall, that's going to be the challenge for you. And now we move on to the outcome. We have the Three of Wands. Now your re romantic relationships are more than likely to be going well with this card. So... Uh, they'll be going well only if your partner is willing to treat you as an equal. Now, if they're not, it may be time to move on. As you can see in the picture, I hope you can see the picture on this card. It's showing that after you've made your complaints and your position clear, if it's not working out, it's time to fly. Be free. Okay? If you have recently met someone new, just know that you're being held in a very high regard by this new person. They're very attracted to you and they like you a lot. Okay, and if you're in the market for love but feel as though you don't, you don't have any prospects, uh, you're probably currently spending too much time and effort in the house or either um, working for your career. So think about allowing more time for your personal life. And then this card is paired with the Four of Pentacles. It's about fear when it comes to love. Either you're holding on far too tight to a situation or a lover, or someone is attempting to do that to you. Now, this type of clinging is not healthy because true love allows for space between lovers and no matter what, one can never really control another person. So if you are single and think that you are ready for a relationship, just realize that you will undoubtedly have to step outside your comfort zone to make it happen. Because we know true love just doesn't knock at your door. It does not knock at your door. Now with these two cards paired together, uh, the three of Wands is letting you know that your relationships, they're more than likely to be going well, but that's only if you're being treated right, okay? And if you're not being treated right, it's probably time to fly and set yourself free, okay? Now, it's paired with the Four of Pentacles, so you may be fearing moving on if it's not working out. You may just decide to stay in the relationship that's not good for you. Now, this means that you could be holding on too tight to the situation. So, you need to rethink it and do what's best for you. And so, if you're single, um, just step outside of your comfort zone and make it happen. Because, uh, like I said, love will not knock at your door. You'll have to go out and find it. And then that's going to be the outcome. So, Aquarius, I hope this resonated. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. I thank you so very much for watching and have a great day. And have a great day.